we start by evaluating the denominator of the integrand, which is modulus of x, between the limits of integration. Note that both e raised power minus 1 and e square are positive. Therefore, the denominator modulus of x is equal to x for all values of x lying between e raised to the power minus 1 and e square. Now, let's focus on the numerator modulus of ln x. The derivative of ln x with respect to x is equal to 1 upon x, which is always positive for positive values of x. This implies that ln x is a monotonically increasing function for all values of x greater than 0. Now, ln x is equal to 0 when x is equal to 1. So, we use the above information to plot ln x on the Cartesian plane. At x is equal to 1, ln x is equal to 0. As x tends to 0 from the positive side, ln x tends to minus infinity. And as x tends to infinity, ln x also tends to infinity. Now, the value of e is approximately 2.7. Therefore, follows that 1 upon e or e raised to the power minus 1 is a number less than 1 and e square is a number greater than 1. We show these on the Cartesian plane. At e raised to the power minus 1, ln x is negative and at x is equal to e square, when x is greater than 1, the value of ln x is positive. Therefore, modulus of ln x is equal to plus ln x for all values of x lying between 1 and e square and modulus of ln x is equal to minus ln x for all values of x lying between e raised to the power minus 1 and 1. Therefore, the integrand modulus of ln x upon x is equal to plus ln x upon x for all values of x lying between 1 and e square and is equal to minus ln x upon x for all values of x lying between e raised to the power minus 1 and 1. The given integral can therefore be broken into two components. The first component is equal to integral e raised power minus 1 to 1 modulus of ln x upon x dx and the second component is equal to integral 1 to e square modulus of ln x upon x dx. In the first case modulus of ln x upon x is equal to minus ln x upon x and therefore the first term is minus integral e raised to the power minus 1 to 1 ln x upon x dx and the second term is integral 1 to e square plus ln x upon x dx. Now note that the derivative of ln x whole square is equal to 2 times ln x upon x. Taking the integral of both sides with respect to x, we get integral ln x upon x dx is equal to half of ln x whole square plus the constant of integration. Using this result, the given integral e raised to the power minus 1 to e square modulus of ln x upon x dx is equal to minus half ln x whole square with the limits being e raised to the power minus 1 to 1 plus the second term which is equal to half of ln x whole square with the limits being 1 and e square. Putting in the limits we get minus half times in brackets ln 1 whole square or 0 minus ln of e raised to the power minus 1 whole square plus the second term which is half times in brackets ln of e square whole square minus ln 1 square which is 0. This simplifies to half of minus 1 square plus half of 2 square. This is equal to half plus 2 or 5 upon 2 which is the required answer.